Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you click subscribe at the bottom. Also, keep watching to the end of this week because I've got a special mention at the end. Thank you guys. Intro start. So this week, I thought I'd discuss a weird and funny thing people have actually picked up on me doing. When I talk, I seem to express myself by using my hands. Basically, this means I'm insane. Well, it doesn't, but you get the idea. I guess it's weird. I don't know. Do you think it's weird? Maybe leave a comment down below. But for instance, everything at work seems to be like this. And then... Uh... Walk down the steps here, please. The helmet is fitted. Adjusted. And unfastened like this. And below, you will find a rope attached like this. Okay, do you get my point now? Does this really mean that my perfect job would be a flight attendant? I mean... Somebody has already recommended me for the job. Do you like planes? Yes. Do you like flying? Well, yeah, as I do enough of it. When talking, do you use your hands? Yes. Do you know the 12 steps to a safe evacuation? Yeah, of course. That's kind of like common knowledge, isn't it? Duh. Oh, so my perfect job to flight attendant. Okay, firstly, I don't want to be a flight attendant, simple as. This means, however, that I do this thing and it's known as gesticulating. Uh, wait, you don't know what gesticulate means, do you? When somebody gesticulates, it means that they use their hands in a sweeping and exciting actions to express a situation. The origins of the word are from the Latin language. It was also considered by the Russian Count Lev Nikolaevich Leo Tolstoy, the author who wrote Anna Karenina and War and Peace, that gesticulating was bad manners. Scientists now believe that it helps the mind access memories, particularly those of abstract notions. They also think that this adaptation of gesticulating has came from our evolution from fish in a way that fish use their fins somehow. Basically, I am lower class. Yeah, makes sense now. Just one more thing that I'd like to mention. Like I said, I had a special mention at the start and this week you might have been aware that it's been 15 years since the uh, September the 11th attacks on New York City. Uh, the World Trade Center, the Pentagon in Washington DC and the failed attempt aka United 93 which ended up crashing into a field in Pennsylvania. As it was a horrific day I thought and New York and America is close to my heart I thought I'd dedicate this video to the thousands of people that lost their lives and are still losing their lives from that horrible event. You know I have had trip after trip to the east coast of the US in the last couple of years. So that's why I feel like I need to dedicate this to them. It was shocking what's happened. I still can't get over what happened and it's 15 years later and I don't know how people involved as such can get over it because all it's done is it has made us stronger and I don't know if some of you have been to America but... If you have, you'll notice that the United States flag is everywhere as a sign of standing up. And I feel just like dedicating this video to those who did lose their lives because it's very sad. Here I'm going to post my favourite image, which is from Staten Island, looking towards Manhattan. And it's a little memorial that they have. What it has is two wings that are white that represent the freedom of America and the chance of getting back everything and moving on as normal. Inside the monument, there are 63 names of, I think 63, there are names anyway, of the people 
who died from the borough of Staten Island. Every single person who died on that day. And if you look through it from this angle, you may have worked out by now, but it actually points where the uh, Twin Towers once stood. Thank you all for watching this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you like down below. If you're new to my channel, you might want to just click on subscribe here. And that will go straight to my channel, give you a subscribe button thing, and it'll ask you whether you want to subscribe, which you do want to. Up there is my Twitter account where you can follow me on Twitter. And just below is my Snapchat if you would like to see what I get on to, up to in my life. Make sure you leave a comment at the end. Make sure you like the video. Last week's video is at the end as per usual. And I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. This is flight 3721 SWA. You fly the Thames Town Board to Revenue today. Teresa in the middle, David in the back, and my name's Jen, and I'm here to tell you that. Shortly after take off first thing first, we got soft drinks and coffee to quench your thirst. If you'd like another kind of drink, then just holler. Alcoholic beverages will be $4 if a monster energy drink is your plan. That'll be $3, and you get the whole can. You can't pay with cash, you gotta play with plastic. If you got a coupon, then they'll be fantastic. We know you wanna get to new places, open up the bins and put away your suitcases. Carry on item, go under the seat, so none of you have things by your feet. Your exits are here, here, and here. Remembering that the closest exit may be behind you.